A longtime Louisville business gets a second chance. Hadley Pottery was slated to close, but is now staying open. WDRB's Joel Skipper tells us who came to the rescue. A lot of empty shelves here at Hadley Pottery. Last spring, it was announced that after 80 years, the business would be closing. Well, a new owner came in, purchased it, and is going to give it some new life, and a lot is going to be changing. Randy Schaefer and his wife waited hours Wednesday morning before the doors even opened at Hadley Pottery after driving all the way from Texas. We got the email that they weren't closing, and she said, do you want to turn around? I go, nah, let's go. It's just 450 more miles. Dozens of other Hadley fans were also inside just a day after it was announced this man, wow. philanthropist Brooke Smith, purchased the business to keep it afloat. I had a, somewhat of an idea that you know the reach of Hadley was beyond Louisville, uh, but you know this this product is like the center of family. Smith plans to gut the 150-year-old building and bring it back to life. Hadley Pottery is a place he went with his mom growing up. Since we announced this. The calls are pouring in from all over the country. Smith also bought the adjacent lot and plans to expand the company. He'll add new pottery machines and kilns, fixing the wiring, all while keeping the charming character handcrafted pottery fans have come to adore. Smith is keeping all current employees and giving them a raise and plans to hire more. If you have these types of elements that people are passionate about, that they relate their family lives to. In time, the economics can take care of themselves. Behind the counter, the gratitude Hadley fans now have for Smith is on full display, a love that is mutual. I say thank you to them. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your appreciation. This just gets us all the inspiration we need. So after Wednesday, Hadley Pottery is going to be closed for about a month so they can make some new holiday items. It will reopen on Wednesday, December 7th, and will reopen full-time sometime next summer. Reporting in Louisville, Joel Skipper, WDRV News.